let's look at <coughs> part a question number three of the combined mathematics 2024 a level paper so this is the complex number question right so we have to draw two shapes two locus types and then shade the region bounded by those two right then there's a second part where we have to find something right so first let's focus on the first part so first we have to draw this one so what is that z minus 2i we will look at the equation first then we can draw <laughs> look at the inequality later on so this is what this is a equation of a circle with center 0 comma 2i and radius 2 and then let's look at this one this has two sections we have to look at argument is it plus 2 root 3 equals pi over 6 side so we, first we will write it in the correct form is it minus minus 2 root 3 equals pi over 6 so this is what this is the half line through minus 2 root 3 comma 0 point that makes pi over 6 angle with the positive x axis right so then the other one is argument is at plus 2 root 3 equals 0 so that one is clear now that one is the half line through same point half line through minus 2 root 3 comma 0 that makes 0 angle that makes 0 angle with positive x axis right so we have to first draw these three then shade the correct region using the inequalities so let's first draw the circle All right so this is the imaginary axis this is the real axis so 2i is where the center is at and the radius is 2 so radius is 2 so this is 4 0 2 minus 2 so we can create the circle like that right so that is what this is is z minus 2y modulus is it minus 2y equals 2 right then we have to draw the two half lines so point is where point is minus 2 root 3 0 so minus 2 root 3 is greater than mine sorry it's less than minus 2 so it's somewhere where root 3 is 1.7 so somewhere here so we'll mark it there somewhere here so minus 2 root 3 right so the first one is this line so we have that line 
so that is the argument is said plus 2 root 3 equals 0 then we need to draw angle pi over 6 so this length is 2 over root 3 this length is 2 so then This half line has to go through where? Has to go through the center. Reason is why. Tan pi over 6 should be 1 over root 3. So 2 divided by 2 over root 3 gives you that. So so this half line has to go through center. Right of this circle right so this is argument is it plus 2 root 3 equals pi over 6 right and this angle is pi over 6 right okay so we have drawn everything now we have to correctly shade the region we want what less than or equal to 2 modulus is at minus 2i less than or equal to 2 that is the region inside the circle and then this is what this is the region in between the two half lines so what is the correct region then we have to shade then the correct region to shade is in between the two half lines and inside the circle so then this area is the correct region to shade right so we have done that right so that is the <coughs> shaded region then Next part of the question is what? For complex numbers, is said in the shaded region, find the maximum value of modulus, is it? So now we focus on all the complex numbers inside this green shaded region. And we want to find the maximum modulus of that, those complex numbers. So modulus is what? Modulus is the length from the origin to the complex number so if you look at the green region maximum distance is at this point origin to the point where the diameter end of the diameter is so we need to find this point if we find this point we can find the maximum value right so let's complete this right triangle then we know this distance is 2 because that is the radius and we know this angle is pi over 6 because this angle is pi over 6 so then Let's take this length as x1, that is the z1 x coordinate, and this length is y1, that is the z1 y coordinate. So x1 is given by what? 2 cos pi over 6, and y1 is given by 2 2 sine pi over 6 so this is what x1 is sorry x1 yeah x1 is x1 is what x1 is root 3 y1 is 1 right 
So then Z1 X coordinate is root 3. Y coordinate is what? Y coordinate is up to here. That is length 2. And we have to add another length 1. So Y coordinate is 3. So he said with root 3 <coughs> plus 3i gives you the maximum modulus. So that is what modulus he said is root 3 squared plus 3 squared. So <coughs> root 12 or 2 root 3 is the maximum <coughs> <coughs> value of the modulus in this region. Right. Okay, so that is question number three. Next, we will look at question number four.